everybody. What? Nothing. Don't look at me like I'm an asshole. I got all excited when I when I yelled "Hey!" and the uh, the little volume meter shot up on the phone we're recording on. Ah. I feel. I feel. I feel like my existence is validated every time I see that. See that little meter go. That proves that you exist. Yeah. That you're real. Yeah. Well, I I, I feel like I'm just constantly suffering, just a series of existential crises. So little things like this keep me, keep me going. But enough about my problems. Side sucks dicks. Heart cinema. Episode one niner. Back to cinema. Yeah. We uh, the last three weren't. And uh, wrestle talks. Because we did them about wrestling, and uh, any future ones we do about wrestling will have a different name, so you can find them more easily on your travels throughout the so y- tunnels and crevasses of the internet. The underground waterworks. Yes. Well, you won't be sadly disappointed by going. Hey, I wonder what bad movie they'll talk about. Instead, hey, what bad WrestleMania will they talk about? Yeah. There's a lot. There is a lot. There are a lot. Everyone since 21. <laughs> More bad than good. Yes. But, I guess we should say everyone who's here, we got a pretty full house in this hot little room. Uh, <laughs> you got <laughs> Drew's dancing. Uh, no I am fandangoing. Drew's fandangoing for no reason. Well, I guess there's I guess there's always a reason to fandango. Because it's fucking dumb. Why not, hey, brother? <laughs> we've got oh, me. I just got it. We've got me. I'm Scott, and then we got to my left, Justin Shu. To his left, Kelly Summers. To his left, Drew Sarian. And to my right, <laughs> laying on the floor in lay, a heap. Lay on the floor like a pile of laundry. On top of another pile. Of <laughs> on top of another pile of laundry. Next to my pile. Of and laundry. Daniel. Fedak? Is it Fedak, Dan? I never learned how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> I've known you for over <laughs> 12 years. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. Fedak. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, thought, we're good. I thought the D was silent. <laughs> Fedak. Yeah. Like a Fiat. Fiat. You what? You know what Fiat stands for? for don't fix, fix it, it again, again, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, what's, what's on the docket, Drew? The docking? D- the docket is space docking. Oh. Yes! Finally! So, four skins so out, boys. We 19 episodes, but we are going to stick dicks in other dicks. <laughs> well, I'm cut, so I guess I'm docking somebody. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I am open for business. <laughs> you know, I was always convinced that space docking... I got I I got this confused. Where, where, is, where, <laughs> I got this where did the space come oh, from? Oh, well, here's the thing. I think it's just docking. No, it's just, just docking. docking. Yeah. Space docking to what I what I always understood space docking to be was you God, this is the worst. You take a poop. <laughs> this is how we want to start. How does podcast? Uh, this is a horrible start. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, you freeze the poop. Okay, I've heard this. You what? put it in a condom yeah, and this. you use it as a dildo. I have not heard this. I've, yeah. In a guy's what? butthole. Why poop? Because it goes rock solid when you freeze it. This so does dick? anything. <laughs> so does what dick? <laughs> I sh- pe- some people are into scat. But there are is, scat so men. Why, then how, why, how do you freeze them? it? Like, put it in the freezer. Yeah, well, no, but like you grab it out of the toilet yes. and put it, and put it on a plate. But yeah. how do you keep it? It's going into someone's butt. Are you going to be that concerned? It's about that? that you've if never... your fiber content in your diet is high enough, then it'll be yeah. so, solid. Yeah, yeah. Like, you've yeah. never solid. had a solid poop? Do you just poop di- diarrhea the whole time? Oh, but like, It has to be above four Dan, is it? Yeah. Dan, is every poop you take an emergency? <laughs> Every poop I take involves me rushing to the toilet. The minute I sit down, all my clothes <laughs> come off. <laughs> well, if you're pooping any other way, you're pooping wrong. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. to be naked to poop. I also poop facing the other way, so I have a little tray for my Well, milk. yeah, that's the <laughs> <laughs> To read your comics and drink your milk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, on the, on the docket is, uh, we're just going to play some games. We haven't done it in a while. We've been too busy talking about wrestling. So... I know that Steve Schneider will be very excited that he gets games again. So we're just going to play, and then that'll be it. Nothing else in between or after. We've, uh, uh, carry on, actually. I just, um... No. 
Continue. No, I, I, I don't, you just ha- want to butt I don't, in, just I don't have it yet, so you have fucking, to kill What are you fucking doing? I'm going to do it, and then... No, you can't fucking do it. Uh, do it now, or don't do it ever. Drew, you are... Why are you taking a picture of me? A bad host. <laughs> and Justin Chu is taking pictures so that he can Photoshop me into the Boston Marathon picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I will become part of the conspiracy. No, see, here's the thing. He's trying to exonerate it's... you. It's a good Photoshop because I'm gonna put your body on the guy who's missing his legs. <laughs> Listen here, gorilla. I'm not saying anything. I'm just asking I'm the just question. A, what is? Go to www.conspiracy.www. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you the same thing wow, I tell you wow, every wow, time. Wow, wow, Did wow, you know wow. that Romeo and Juliet was not written by William Shakespeare? <laughs> It was written under a pen name. By the Earl of Oxnard. <laughs> Oxnard? Yeah, Oxnard. Oxnard, California? Yeah. You're goddamn right. You think they didn't have an Earl? We're not, we're not talking about near the beaches. We're talking in the onion fields. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesse, you're out of your mind. I was a marine. <laughs> oh, Jesse, you're he's, drunk. He's Jesse the Mind Ventura, though. It's true. All right, Drew, what do you got? Well, uh, before we get on this topic, uh, I need to bring to the attention of the group uh, that a current um, featured member of this group, Uh the man who has made many appearances, thanks to one Kelly Summers, uh, once again has his own show on TV. Oh, that's right. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. (laughs) (laughs) Ron James... Was given his another television show on the CBC. Oh, I don't think another one. Like, is it a sitcom or is it? Oh yeah, well it's yeah, it's him being him. Oh, it's it's stand up. No, it's a sitcom. Really? Called the Ron James Show. Why aren't we watching it right now? It's probably not on. It's ten thirty uh, at night. It might be on. I don't think she was heard my new Ron James joke. Oh, I haven't. Nope. Was and, that one you told her in Seattle? Yeah, yeah. And you should <laughs> say it. I want to hear it. It's, uh, what was? Uh, to a down to Seattle, like, okay. Going down there, you see I hate it already. <laughs> <laughs> you got through a quarter, a quarter of the premise. <laughs> <laughs> see the big space now there, right? Ah, oh, boy, what an architectural marvel that is, eh? Not like the CN Tower, huh? You go down to Toronto, you take a look at that thing, oh, it looks like a freak accident between a Tim Hortons donut and a Juno Award. <laughs> <laughs> If you laughed at that, you're not from Canada. I, I, don't, I don't even understand. Go oh, down the Tim Hortons, they get me a double double. A uh, double double. God, he's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of hope, like, they have. I hope my life becomes like the movie Dave, but it's Ron, and Ron James dies, and I have to replace him. <laughs> Oh, man, that'd be awesome. Careful what you wish he's for. Not, I mean, he's not young either, right? Like, no, he's 60. Oh. He's about there. Yeah, that sounds right. He's definitely in Tommy Boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Never watch that movie again, nope. now. Is he, burn it all. is he, like, prevalent in it? Or no, he's, he's got one guy. scene. Is he hilarious, though? <laughs> he's a security cowardly guard. security guard who throws his gun over immediately. <laughs> okay. You laugh. Just now. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so to start, don't stop looking at this. Yeah, it's sorry, not an answer. Me. It's okay. You can look. No, it's right. not an answer. Um, the, th- so to, I, I'm going to interrupt you now. Good. Now, oh, now you fucking now, got it. Now good. Got now, it. now I'm glad you got it. We uh, no, because we had a uh, we had a request um, from one uh, uh, from one uh, Timmy Joe Wren. Uh, TJ, if you will. His name is Timmy Timmy Joe. Joe. Uh, Yeah, and I hope he's listening to this because he gets furious. (laughs) Is it it like... Whenever... whenever Is it like Thomas Joseph? Timothy Joseph. Oh, Timothy Joseph. But I called him Timmy Joe once and he got very mad. And I would never call that again to his face because he's six foot seven and a monster. But um, I will do it over uh, over the internet. Uh, But he listened to our... um, our first wrestling episode, which oh, okay. was 16, and then listened to all of our episodes in reverse order. Oh my god. Uh, so he had the pleasure of listening to our audio quality get worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know what? To, that is the correct way to do it. Yeah, start at 16, go to 1. <laughs> go, go to the point where it's the worst recording you've ever heard. Yeah. You, barely audible. 
Yeah, so I guess he's going to do them in forward order now. But the one thing he requested was the return of uh, Watch This, Not That. So so we're supposed to look at something in my room and say what? No, well, I, I, just, I just brought up the, the top two at the box office currently, and I'm guessing... Have enough of us seen them to suggest? Uh, no, but I think we're, we're all going to have the same opinion regardless. If it's Safe Haven... I say see it. Like <laughs> hey, I got away with not seeing that movie. You were supposed to see it be- on Valentine's Day. Yeah, because... Yeah, but instead, Drew and I saw Pete Holmes. <laughs> yes, because I was, my girlfriend wanted to see it. Uh, I told her that I would go with her because I was making her sit through 3D Jurassic Park and IMAX. Yeah. So we went to the theater, and it had been out of theaters for, like, four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, like... Because I, I read... Twist it, and... It got mentioned on uh, on Doug Benson's podcast, and I thought it was just, like, The Notebook 2 or whatever, but it's got a crazy, stupid twist at the end, and now I kind of want to see it because of that. I only want to see the ending, though, yeah. and, the, and the physical violence towards women. Sure. I'm always for that. Yeah. Always, um, always a woman. What? I, like, I don't know what the twist is. Do you want to know Yeah, sure. no, because I'm going to go see it. Is it Fuck. okay if we spoil Safe Haven for <laughs> you? No like, one is safe, no one is haven. So, no. so I, I'm pretty sure I know the plot uh, up until a certain point. I don't even know what it's about. Who's in it? Uh, uh, Josh Ju- Dumont. Ju- Juliana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she's... Dan, Dan had to make a face to say that her last name. It was a struggle to get it out. So she's in a bad <laughs> relationship with an abusive gentleman, and then... She, like, gets away, and there's some kind of violent past that, like, it's kind of a secret from everyone, and she ends up in some pretty town that's very Nicholas Sparks-esque on the eastern seaboard somewhere, maybe in Massachusetts. Um, Maine? Maine. Maine. Yeah, it's probably, it's Maine. I think it's Maine. New England. Vermont. New England. Um, because, because it's a uh, Stephen King novel. Okay. Um, so... It's not a Stephen King novel. <laughs> Anyways, so she ends up in this quaint little town, and Josh Dumal's a single father, a widower, I'm going to assume. Uh, yes. And, no, yeah, uh, very important part that he's a widower, in fact. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, important. interesting. Yes. Okay, so then she ends up, like, falling for him, and he's, he's like, oh, like, I've got kids, but, like, I can love you. And she's like, eh, like, I'm getting out of this kind of serious thing that I can't tell you about. And there may be this guy who's coming to hunt me down, I think. Yeah. And then, but, like, then they learn to love each other in, like, montage through, uh, like, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen all the, all everything, the everything they do together. Yeah. And then, like, the guy comes to town. And he's, like, and he's pissed. And he's like, he's like, oh, you're coming back to wherever you were from with me, like, when you had a different name and maybe different hair color. And, uh, um, and, uh. This is thorough. And then, I, I'm assuming. Are you sure you haven't seen the movie, Dan? No, I've all, literally just seen the trailer. All um, over this from the trailer. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, I'm assuming like Dumal and him fight, and maybe he wins, and then they end up happily ever after. But I'm guessing something crazy happens it, in it. You're very close. It, okay. Like it up to like a that, point, you're very close. They, like it is a happy ending, and they do end up together. But there is a fun, stupid, pointless twist in the middle. Oh, the best kind. Yes. So um, he accidentally killed his wife. No. Oh, okay, that's right. Also, saying. would make more sense when you said when you're like widower. That's important. I was yeah, like, he's a murderer. Would, would would not be him killing his wife would not be as silly as what it actually is. Okay. So, um, yeah. So yeah. So you nailed it in explicit detail <laughs> <laughs> just from much of the trailer. Uh, the the premise up to there. The the only parts that need um, that need adding are. Um, when she first gets there, she meets uh, this neighbor. Who, There's a woman, right? Yeah. yeah. Who, no, I was gonna say no, is just... Alex Borstein, but no. it's not. <laughs> I'm think not. I'm totally thinking of something else. Yes. Yeah, it's not. Uh, You're so, yeah. thinking of uh, Mad TV. Maybe. <sighs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm a winner. My wife died. Oh yeah, I died. Oh the time. Oh. <laughs> 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 I got crushed by a boy. I tell you everything. <laughs> oh, where was I going before that? What's the happened? twist? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, so, yeah, yeah. So uh, she, yeah, she meets this uh, neighbor and makes and then makes friends with her. And the neighbor, like, because because at first she doesn't know if she, cause, like you said, she's 
coming off of this, you know, this nasty relationship and doesn't know if she should, you know, go for it with Or, like, open up to people, yeah, and, yeah. and the neighbor's like, no, go for it. He's good, and you're good for him, and blah, blah, blah. And... Was, it, was her neighbor the gay best friend? No. No, <laughs> no it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. No, yeah, it's, it's a like, like, I mean, older, yeah. older wise woman. I guess, yeah, yeah. But gay women are gross. <laughs> Yes, yeah. and um, just scissoring, and, <laughs> and, and also the uh, he no, so he didn't kill his wife. His wife died of cancer, okay. and she knew she was dying, so she left a um, oh a, a letter, a, bu- a bunch of letters for um, for the kids to read <sighs> at, at various points Scott, in their life. I am so bored. You explaining this movie. It's important. It is so boring. True, it's important that we go through Safe Haven in explicitly. <laughs> All right, continue. I'll fucking, I'll... <laughs> so anyway, yeah. I'll go but, back on MFC for a bit. Bad, bad boyfriend comes to town, blah, blah, blah. I think he, I think Dumel or, or, uh, <laughs> kills him. I, I shoots oh. him or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And, uh, and they do in fact live happily ever after. And then the... The letters. Po- the, yeah, and then the, the last letter is the, uh... A letter addressed for her, which is the the new oh, woman oh. in um, in your life, and you see it's this one signed her name, which I think is Joy, and uh, the best friend neighbor is Joy. She is the ghost of his <laughs> wife. <laughs> oh! Okay, I'm glad that paid off. <laughs> yeah, fucking ridiculous. So stupid. <laughs> this is like this is like a you know. A romantic drama yeah. for women. For the ghosts for no the, reason. It's wasn't, like it's like Ghost it? Dad, but there's fucking. <laughs> wasn't that? Um, fucking in ghost it's dad. like. Did you almost spit take? I almost spit it's, take. It's like six Dan saying there's fucking in Ghost Dad. Right? <laughs> it's Sixth Sense, but for chicks. Oh, isn't it that that movie with Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves? Or the other Lake House. Place? They're not ghosts though. It's a it's a time machine mail slot. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's what I call Helen Mirren's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear Helen Mirren talk about it in that way. It's such a you have derogative. respect for her. She was the queen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Time Time Machine Mail Slots, the new movie with John Cusack and Craig Robinson. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. <laughs> you are on fire, sir. Mountain Dew, white out. You're my man. <laughs> and you're done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't have anything important. I don't remember. <laughs> Do you want to continue what you were trying to say? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so in order to... Oh, my God. So I guess we're doing top two at the box office for oh, yeah. Watch Us Not That, and if any of us haven't seen it, you don't get to vote. Uh, you still get to vote. Okay, fine. Based on if you would see it. Yeah. Number one, Number one. at the box office for this past weekend is Oblivion, Oblivion starring yeah. Tom Cruise and uh, Black President. Mm-hmm. And number two is 42 starring Harrison Ford and a black baseball player. Uh, and, and Alan Tudyk. And Alan <laughs> Tudyk as, as the amazing racist. <laughs> as, the, as the amazingest racist. <laughs> I think that gives the answer right there. Yeah, um, I, I don't care what movie it is. If Alan Tudyk's in it, it's number one. Yeah, and also uh, there's a lot less crazy people starring in uh, in Forty Two, so I'm pretty sure everyone should watch Forty Two and not Oblivion. This has been another edition of Watch This, Not That. For the record, I blew it and did it the other way around. <laughs> uh, what? I watched Oblivion last week. Oh, I thought. But would you recommend Oblivion over Forty Two, even having not seen Forty Two? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oblivion couldn't have been good. No, it wasn't. Okay, but he, so, yeah. But he doesn't like baseball or black people, yeah. so... I'm torn. I think he would still like it better. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll start the games, and to determine who goes first, we're going to do uh, how much did this shit make. I like that. That's so it is how much money a movie made domestically in the United States. Domestically? Total. Total. Uh, and it is oh it is Price is Right rules, so okay. highest bid without going over. You can bid a dollar, but if you do, Kelly will suplex you. Unless it's Kelly, then there's no suplexing. Can I suplex myself? You can suplex yourself if you want. Can rock bottom myself? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just see you try. Oh, rock bottom yourself, a.k.a. do a downward spiral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, the film in question is the 2004 science fiction action film starring Will Smith. 
I Robot. Uh, do we get to know the budget? Yeah. Sure. Okay. The... I Robot, the science fiction version of I Am Sam? Yes. It's Robot! <laughs> robot! Hey, everybody, look at my metal arms! <laughs> They compute! They didn't compute! <laughs> wow. Never go full retard. Sean Penn does stupid things sometimes, right? Uh, yeah. Sean Penn uh, is a complete fuck. For a guy who makes like one movie every three years, could pick them a little more carefully? Possibly one of the most undeserving uh, winners of Best Actor. But he played a I said gay. It. He played don't a care. gay, Drew. Did you? Don't care. What, you didn't like that movie? Milk? I fucking hated Milk. Oh, fuck. It was oh, so it's... brave! <laughs> the only reason I hated it is because they gave it such praise just because he was playing a gay man. Like, they gave it praise for the wrong reason. Never seen it, so I... Same thing with Brokeback. Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain is a horrible movie. He spit it's on so his dick un- and popped it right in, Drew. That's it's really, Oscar. It's really boring. It, it's on TV tonight, actually. Uh, 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 let's g- uh, Fuck this. It's let's all jerk off to... No, it's on much more music. Oh, <laughs> but I want butt fucking. Well, you no on much music you get butt fathering. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Anyways, the United States budget for this film was <laughs> the United States budget. Huh? Well, if it's, the, if it's the domestic uh, box office, I'm gonna say uh, is a hundred and twenty million dollars. That's a wow, pricey wow. piece of film. Well, it is a lot CGI. of CGI, and Will Smith probably got paid. 90 million dollars. They make 120 robots for a million dollars each? Yes. Also, uh, a ju- I don't know if this will sway you in which way it made, but it does also star Alan Tudyk. He is the voice the of voice. the main robot. That's right. So that should sway you in the way of 40 billion dollars. <laughs> so, uh... He fires the opening salvo. Scott... Because I want you to lose. Hmm. Gonna have to nail it then. Let's go. Well, they didn't make a sequel, and anything that makes more than $10 gets a sequel. So I feel like it's lost money. <laughs> Let's go with $73 million. 73 To Justin. Starring Will Smith in the mid 2000s. It's pretty popular. Had robots, they're pretty popular. So that's CGI, also popular. <laughs> These are all fair points, I will say. I'm going to go with a fairly decent profit in this movie of $240 million. Whoa. Ooh. Fair? That's a really good profit. Kelly Summers? I don't know if I go that high. But... Radio silence. I will say, I'll say ninety million. Daniel, I can't believe two people thought this movie lost money. Uh, I'm gonna go one sixty. I thought you were gonna say one trillion. trillion. <laughs> I was just I was going that. Yeah. Well, if it helps you, the worldwide total for this movie was three hundred and forty-seven million. Fuck yes. Yes. Don't forget, Russians love American That's movies true. with a lot Russians of CGI and... in them. Battleship. Yeah. Enough said. Uh, the winner without going over is Kelly Summers at 90. It made $144 million domestically. Yeah. So it did make money, though. Yes. It made yeah. a yeah. decent yeah. amount of money. And as far as a sequel, <laughs> I understand that they have talked about a sequel, but at the end of the movie, a lot of stuff happens that would prevent you from having a sequel. They made it pretty definitive at the end. Yeah. That's hasn't stopped people before. This is true. Is that did um, Asimov write that or Bradbury yep. or Asimov? Okay. Asimov. Based on iRobot and the Caves of Steel, according to Wikipedia. Okay, so Kelly wins. Kelly gets to start. Well, whose who's bullshit categories are you using, Drews? Well, Scott didn't fucking bring his, did he? Oh, God. Damn, this is the worst kind of game. They're what? not that shitty. I wasn't. None of them were as informed. none of them were as dumb as the uh, Harrison Ford one. Or the Merkins. The Merkins. Jesus Merkins still on here, Christ. but I'm not going to use the Merkins. <laughs> Kelly Summers. What? Your choice. First of three. Yeah. Would you like Mac Attack? 
That is a movie where Bernie Mac is brutally murdered. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know too many movies like that. Would you like... I got one off the top of my head. Would you like... Actually, a, I, I do know. Lemon Party. <laughs> the films of Jack Lemmon. <laughs> oh my god. Or would you like Oh hell Chewbacca The films <laughs> of Nick <laughs> Nolte <laughs> God damn it you fix the goddamn hot drive hell <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Mac, brutally murdered, Jack Lemon, or Nick Nolte. <laughs> I'll go with Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Would you like Don't look because you can see the screen. Oh, sorry. I'll fuck you in the butt. Uh, Nick Nolte has Batman with the beer, the gut over the telly belt with beer cans. Would, in it. <laughs> would you like a Nick Nolte movie from 1982, 1991, or 2004? What? What the fuck was he doing in 04? I don't know. Besides that DUI photo. <laughs> <laughs> was that a movie? All right, Leonard gives this movie three and a half stars. Oh, he liked it. What? He likes this movie. Uh, he says that uh, it is a powerful film, avoids being overly didactic by focusing on one compelling character, uh, and it's believably brought to life by the star. Uh, it was written by the director, uh, and Jean Reno appears unbilled. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of he does. And it has... Two. Nine actors. I will go with eight. Eight to... Let's go to Dan. Seven. Seven to Dan. Six to Scott or name it. Oh, four, Nolte. Uh, I wonder. Let's take a gamble and say name it. Name it at seven. So all but the top two. All but two. I'm hoping it's I one of those where you need the top two. I think the one I was thinking about would be good. Okay, Dan. Your names are Hakeem Kai Kazim. Love it. Yeah. Fana Mokoina. Kara Seymour. David O'Hara. Desmond Doobie. Hmm? Nick Nolte. And Joaquin Phoenix. Nothing. Top two names. I've 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 never more. There's there's been nothing more in life that I did not want to happen than Scott saying me. Prison rape ranks higher than uh, Scott telling you to name it. Yeah. Well, if I told you the top two names were Sophie Okunendo and Don Cheadle. Oh. Wait, was that Hotel no, Rwanda? Hotel yes, Rwanda. sir. Nice. Nick Nolte plays the Canadian uh, peacekeeper dude. Interesting. Yes. Very good. That's that, Dan. Was that all the way back in 04? 04. Yeah, wow. 04. I think the movie I sent it like it was 06. But... Batman with Nick Nolte? <laughs> I hail the bats and Robin call the cops man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that gives a point to Scott. Uh, so we will go Justin. Oh, shit. I think with four, you can just kind of go in a circle. All right, Justin yeah. to Kelly. No, because then you're constantly telling the same person to name it. So we'll go Justin to you. No, because you... Justin Kelly. Fuck it. Justin to Kelly. We're doing it. Justin. Yes. Would you like Ferris Bueller's clothes off? <laughs> That is a film where Ferris Bueller has a shower scene. <laughs> or or Matthew Matt Broderick. Broderick. Sorry. Because I think there's only one movie where Ferris <laughs> Bueller has a shower <laughs> scene. Matthew Broderick has a shower scene. God damn. Uh, would you like um, more than just Bond? Those are Roger Moore films that aren't Bond films. <laughs> there are a bunch. You'd be surprised well, how many no, you can think so of. Are, or what about... Um, I don't That's know nice. what you pulled out, but... That's good. Can't be. It is good. Apocalypto, it's good. Apocalypto's very good. Really? Yeah. But it's Mel Gibson. But it's good. Mel Gibson knows his fucking story structure. You know that. He's crazy, but he knows story structure. <laughs> he is a lunatic. Do you have to be anti-Semitic to know story structure? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. I may have a career yet. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, Timothy Dalton was uh, a Bond at one yep. point? Yep. Was he just yep. once? A couple. Twice, once, twice, I think. Two, maybe three. 
Because I think... La- Lazenby was once. Yeah. yeah. I think I remember seeing a Bond on TV with him in it, and it just looks so silly. <laughs> yeah, he was in the... He was in, like, what, the... There, the there, was, that ga- there was that gap yeah, between really Connery bad. and a few Moors that were pretty bad. Yeah, the Dalton ones are pretty universally reviled, I think. Timothy Dalton, all he has to do is be in Hot Fuzz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Or a Beautician and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Like, honestly. <laughs> Is that Fran Drescher? Yeah. yeah. Oh Fran Drescher and Timothy Dalton. Uh, anyways, okay, so uh, Matthew Broderick what has a shower scene. Right? <laughs> what was your next one? What was the third one? Uh, the third one uh, is... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, um, The Bridges of Los Angeles County. That is a f- the movies of Bo, Jeff, or uh, their father... <laughs> Uh, Lloyd. Lloyd Bridges. Let's go with uh, the Bueller's clothing. <laughs> oh, Matthew Broderick, you fat fuck! <laughs> Have you, you sure? seen Matthew Broderick before? <laughs> He's fat now. Okay. Th- are you thinking of Val Kilmer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of no. Would you like a movie from 1996 or 1999? Ninety-six. It's not the one I wanted you to back. I know. Is ninety-nine Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Don't, I don't get know Kelly riled up. Good thing I didn't choose ninety-nine. <laughs> okay, this movie from what, nineteen. Was it? Was I right? No, ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Godzilla. Oh. See, I remember watching it on television in France in two thousand, so I assume it came out in ninety-nine. But yeah. but it's France, so it was several years it was behind. Old, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Several years behind. Uh, this movie from nineteen ninety-six. Two and a half stars from Leonard. He says that it is, uh... Alright, it says that there is many clever, funny scenes, but the film wavers between comedy and a darker, more serious tone, which, while also interesting, keeps us off balance. Um, The director has a recurring cameo. And there are... Twelve names... Like, I started off at minus two. Oh, boy. Wow. Minus Balls two. to the proverbial wall. To Kelly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Name it. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you to name it my butt. <laughs> building number two oh. of the list would have been Matthew Broderick. Building number one would have been Jim Carrey as the cable guy. What a guy. Just a nail wow, I was thinking of the cable guy. Too, was too deep. Nope. He qualifies for Tournament of Champions by going deep. What was his? Yes. Who would have been three? I have no idea who would have been beyond two. Three in the cable guy. Huh. Eric Roberts playing himself. <laughs> Tom Petty. Uh, Leslie Mann, because she's the, oh, yeah, she's female, the female lead. Oh, yeah. And this, like I've said many times, one of the most underrated comedies of all time. And the be- the best B plot in any movie ever, which is the trial of Ben Stiller killing his twin brother. Oh my God! Yeah. He, he looked like that he was so Asian. Good. He might have been Asian. Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about the that, oh, that, so that, that TV subplot happening. Yes. I think I just figured out what the ninety nine movie is. <laughs> <laughs> it's is it a movie you like? It's a movie I own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that. Sweet. All right, all right, Broderick, let's do this. Let's <laughs> do all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I know what to not give Dan. Although I think, I think three out of four can probably think of it right now. Uh, so that's a point for Justin. Uh, okay, would you like a movie, Daniel? Uh, double feature that well, because Kelly told him to name it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Double feature. That's a movie where an actor portrays two separate characters in the same film. Uh, known aliases. Which is the main actor is working under a stage name. Not I his thought it was going to be the films of Jennifer Garner. Yes. <laughs> Ugh, no thank you. Strong jaw on that woman. She just, you just killed my boner. 13 Sorry. going on 30. Go on. Right? Um, <laughs> Whaleus? Whaleus. Uh, and getting jilly with it. Movies where Jake Gyllenhaal fucks. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal trying to fuck. I guess the... Oh, better than his uh, sister fucking, I guess. Yeah. 
science, science fiction double feature? Is that, is that double sure? feature. Just uh, somebody playing two roles. I, I was I was making a, a Rocky Horror Picture Show reference gotcha. though. So gotcha. Um, hey, <laughs> everybody, do the time warp. Get out of my house. It's not the reference I was making. Would you like one from two thousand and two, nineteen ninety eight? Or 1999. Hmm. I think which one's going to give me the parent trap with Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scott, you know that off off by heart? Yep. I've got the pre-2004 Lohan filmography <laughs> memorized. Uh, there's also... Hmm. Eh, I don't know. Let's go 2002. Okay, Leonard gives this movie three and a half stars. Oh. I agree and might give it four. Hmm. Parent trap it is. <laughs> it's got to be parent trap. Uh, let's see. It's surreal, dazzling, dizzying, often perplexing, but brilliant film. Um, it says the main actor in two distinct performances. Um, there are lots of cameos of names I can't give away, uh, and the, nope, can't say that, um, and the rest of it gives away plot. Ten names. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Namer. Nine. Okay. <laughs> You give him assuming you don't need the things again? Uh, no. Six? <laughs> Six, 2002, a bunch of shit you said. Steven Tobolowski. Ron Ned Ryerson! Ned Ryerson! <laughs> Ron Livingston. Maggie Gyllenhaal. Not yeah. getting jiggy. Uh, Judy Greer. Brian Cox. And Kara Seymour. Ugh, I should have said name it. <laughs> but maybe that number seven gives it the fuck away. I don't think it does. <laughs> hey, Drew thinks no. <laughs> Drew thinks you should have said name it. Drew shakes his head in disbelief. That I didn't say name it? No, they, that number seven would have given it away. Oh. It would not have. <sighs> Sigh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the top four. Tilda Swinton, Chris Cooper, Meryl Streep, and portraying two characters, oh, twin Nick brothers, Cage. Nick Cage. Fuck, I own that movie too. Adaptation. God damn it. And that is a great goddamn movie. Classic mistake, Dan. And it's, uh, yeah, their cameos were John Malkovich, they Kathleen Keener, John Cusack, David O. Russell. Yeah. I was so too. Shit me. Shit you. It was okay. Two points for Scott, and if he wins, I'm going to be furious. But now it's Justin's turn again, because nobody else gets to pick categories. There's one that I want to name, but it's I like the title more than I like the category. <laughs> um, I'll say it, it might not necessarily get picked. three options, so... Yeah. You don't have to choose it, but you can still Give me a second. use it. I need to make sure that I actually wrote it down in here. Uh, oop. I did. Look at that. Um... Oh, yeah, got it, nailed it. Um, Come on, Mr. Host. I'm reading to make sure that there's... Okay, it's fine. Um, Riveting radio. Your Friendly Neighborhood Wiener, uh, which is movies where uh, MC Ganey shows his dick. <laughs> Who's MC Ganey? Who's MC Ganey? Mr. From, friendly. From Boss. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't watch the oh, show. I don't so think I've ever I seen it. It's okay. Name. He's probably not choosing that category. Um, <laughs> Does he show his dick in a lot of movies? <laughs> there is one. Uh, Mac Attack, a movie where Bernie Mac is brutally murdered. Or The Spawn of P.T., which are films where Maya Rudolph is pregnant, fake, or real in the movie. Oh. Because P.T. Anderson likes to fuck. They're having a fourth child. Ex Jesus. Likes to fuck. Wow. Yeah. God damn. P I like my Rudolph. PT fucking, Brain Mac gets That's murdered. So weird. 
Pull out. Pizza. Or uh, MC Gainey shows his dick. Uh, let's go with the let's go with the Mac attack. A lot of dick. Why are you so obsessed with his dick? Because <laughs> <laughs> when I saw the movie, my response was, "What the fuck? He's fully naked." <laughs> So, there's only one movie where it happens, yep. but you made a category for one movie. Yes. That's worth it. fucking stupid. Scott agrees it's worth it. Ugh. This Ugh. movie is from 2003. Three stars. Um, oh, so Bernie Mac's only been murdered in one movie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see what it says oh. here. The Bernie Mac show. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he wrote the tiniest review for this, and it is all spoilers. It's gotta be something, some adjectives or something. It. Delicious. <laughs> uh, provocative. Nice. Um, a an actor appears on build. <laughs> the unrated ver there is an unrated version available on DVD. Uh, it is definitely not for all tastes, and it is audaciously funny. Star rating? Three. 2003. Number of... Two, four, six, eight. Got it. Eight. Nailed it. Wait, Evan. Seven to Kelly. I don't want to say six and have Scott say name it, so name it, Kelly. Oh, <laughs> damn you fuck. <laughs> you know why you're a fuck? Because I was going to say negative one. Really? Yes. Well, too late now. Well, it was number one pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Kelly, you get six names, you cocksucker. So, why are you calling me a cocksucker? AJ Naidu. John Ritter. Bernie Mac, Lauren Tom, I am so mad. Lauren Graham, and Brett Kelly. What year was this? 2003. Three stars. Bernie Mac gets brutally murdered. Let me get a John Ritter. That was Ritter. One time Ritter died, wasn't it? That it was, was one of his last. One of the things. very last he things died he did. in 03, didn't he? 03 or 04, thereabouts. Yeah. Just makes me think of the goddamn roast of uh, Roseanne Barr. Oh, man. That was one of the funniest things I ever heard. <sighs> Fucking Jesselnick. Was it Jesselnick? Yeah. No, it was... Yeah, it was Jesselnick. It was Jesselnick. <laughs> uh, I can't even repeat it because it's not going to be funny if I say it. <laughs> you had to be there. You had to be there. You had to see it. Any ideas, Kel? I know it's hard because he wrote a very small review and it's all spoilers, so I couldn't. I can only think of one movie with John Ritter and it's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the right time for Kelly him. nailed it. It's it. Too many movies where Bernie Mac gets murdered. He's too delightful. He is delightful. Did he actually die? He did. Okay. In real life. In the movie or real life? Because the answer is yes to both. <laughs> well, then why did you ask the question? <laughs> to be funny. <laughs> to be funny. Spoiler, you weren't. <laughs> Dick! Oh! oh no. No. Grabbed his junk. Ugh. Exactly. So is it right here. two, one? Probably one. Should be three, one? right? It'll. If hey, quit being such a bitch. No, it's too long. <laughs> Anyways, I have no idea. Kelly has no idea. Thank you. I needed that. Top two billing are Tony Cox and Billy Bob, Billy Bob Thornton. Thornton. Bad Santa. God damn it. Never Tony Cox it and his Vietnamese it. fucking yeah, girl ram him down with their car. Yeah. Oh. Break his ribs and puncture his spleen. His, and his little black midget friend. Yep. Oh him. Who, I found out, is ridiculously old for how young he looks for a midget. Yeah, is and he, he like, was like in, old in like, in like little person years? Well, he was like born in like 1959 Holy or something shit, like that. he should be dead. And he, he was an Ewok. Huh. What? Yeah. Which fuck one? He's got a, he used one of the Ewoks. In this what a silly question. Fuck you. <laughs> They're all fucking little bear people. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> they have names. Yeah, but I don't yeah, think he, he was like, a named like, one. Yep, I think yeah. he... And just happened to be Chub one Chub. of them. Teddy Ruxpin. I don't think one of them was named Chub Chub. <laughs> yep, I should yep. call your Ewok. 
Because it gives you a jump jump. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so that is the point to Dan. So Scott's got two, Tree's got one, Dan's got one, and yeah. Kelly Fuck just sit in the corner Dan. with this coloring book. God. Well, yeah. well, I guess you played that right, eh? Oh, do you have that WCW coloring book? Somewhere. Oh, I want to color that. Yeah. Well, that means, hey, Scott, oh, you get to pick fuck. category, you fuck. The best All right, I'm excited. I'm Good, because you're the only one that cares. Okay. <laughs> Would you like Iron Lady? Movies with a female robot. Iron Lady. Uh, Twoop Relief. Movies where somebody has a conversation while somebody else is pooping. Pooping. And... Dan shaking his head. The... Um, what other ones do I love here? Um, let's go... Spank Bank. <laughs> movies with a famous nude scene. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Oh, that. Mm-hmm. Well, the crowd, crowd demands it. Spank bank. Spank bank. Spank bank. Spank bank. Spank bank. We need to wait. We need the whole bank. Do whatever you want. I'll poop on your floor. Spank bank. Spank bank. Okay, Scott, would you like a movie from 1981, 1999, or 1998? 81. I think I know it. <laughs> 99, 98, 81. I think I know 98. He's got a thought about 81. But not confident enough, so let's go 99. This film, three stars. Wow. From Len. Uh, he says about this movie it is overlong and flawed, but still compelling. Um, <laughs> nudity is plentiful, um, but the European version is even more graphic. Ah, as I thought. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um let's see, yeah, everything else is kind of given away. It is from a 1926 Arthur Schnitzler novel. Obviously. That's all I can tell you. I think I know that. Twelve names Scott. Maybe I don't. Ten. Ten out of twelve. Justin. Nine. Nine out of twelve. Kelly. Eight. Eight out of twelve. Dan. I thought I knew it, but I don't know if I do. Seven. Seven out of twelve. Dan. I hate to potentially win dishonor Oh, what a fucker. But I gotta say it. Name that shit. Seven out of twelve. Hey, you think you know it, so I'm, I, I have confidence in you. A few people that I did not know side. were in this movie. Uh, okay, your names, Dan, are Faye Masterson, hey, Alan, Master? Alan Cumming, Lily Sobieski. Oh, fuck, I did have it. Rade oh. Serbegia. Oh, Rade right, Serbegia. Uh, Worth the blade. Vanessa Shaw, Thomas Gibson, and Lisa oh. Leone. Thomas Gibson. Name it, I know it. Thomas Gibson, a.k.a. Greg. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, Not what I thought it was. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Why are you so happy? I <laughs> I really hate for the game to end like this, but I have no idea. No, not even a guess? Minus two. A lot of, lot of nudity? Justin says minus two. Don't give him any words. See if he gets it. Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise, eyes wide shut. Bam! Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, eyes shit. wide shut. Classic mistake. Oh shit! How did you get Tom Damn. I was gonna say I've that I've seen that. I didn't realize Greg was in I that. I was gonna say I was that it was the. Mind the ways, Lily Lily Sobieski. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I was gonna say that it says in here it's Kubrick's final film, so I was going to say the director's final film, but that might have given it away. Yeah, that would have given it away. Because it's ninety nine, yeah. and yeah, I would. So Scott fucking wins. <sighs> Kelly suplexes ass. How the fuck did his goalkeeper get top billing in that shit? Stand I don't know. Up, stand up, kid. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure a lot of people jacked off to that scene in '99. Which one? Go rent fighting? the old VHS and just fucking paint the walls out of that movie. Paint the shooting ropes. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Shooting ropes. Who yeah. calls it that? Me and Alan Pettiford. <laughs> <laughs> That's just gross. Well, game's over. Now everybody who wants to leave may leave. No one may leave. Oh. Doors are locked from the outside. Faggot. There you go. <laughs>
Good. Is there anywhere to get a steak? <laughs> in an arcade setting? Yes. Dave and Buster's, my friend. <laughs> but we don't have those here. And we have to uh, cheat on our girlfriends there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all do that. Um, no. At like 3 in the morning. Um, tops. Is that open at 3 in the morning? I don't know. I was thinking tops. I was like, if someone's going to say tops, it's going to be Justin. But <laughs> can, can you get steaks at Boston Pizza? They're not open at 3 in the morning. Denny's. Denny's? Denny's. Yeah, yeah they got a T-bone in it, yep. so that's probably... Yeah. It'll be a shitty steak, but yeah. it's a steak. I made a good steak, though. No. Not in Vancouver. Not, not in Canada. <laughs> New York, sure. Maybe Texas. Probably Tejas. Probably the South in general. You'll find a decent diner that'll have good steaks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd be hard-pressed in Vancouver to find a good 3 a.m. steak. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say. Aside yeah. from home. Yeah. It's too bad, because... Go to a Thursday's, buy a steak, cook it yourself. It might come up, but... Uh, Ooh, cow. my legs. Cut it up. Cut it up. Murder it viciously. Maybe you'll have good luck. <laughs> <coughs> well, Eyes Wide Shut won the game. Um, <coughs> yummy. It's a shame, because I had... Eyes Wide Eat Wild Things. Oh, that's another good movie. It was Wild Things. My man! <laughs> and nice any guess work. on what 81 was? Fast, fast Times Original High? I was thinking Fast Times. Yeah. S- was it that far back? Phoebe Cates. Yeah, Phoebe yeah, Cates. Bam! Drop Dead Fred? I do like Drop, Drop Dead oh, Fred, wow. absolutely. Gremlins? Gremlins yeah, 2? Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of had a... Private School? Could have had a more honorable Private School. I did, I... With Matthew Modine. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> good times. Um, that movie that she filmed in France when she was 16 and did nude, sh- nude shots because it's France and there's no rules there. The best kind. <laughs> what? Yeah. Naked bathing in like some natural spring thing when she was 16 because Fran- like France, there's no rules. Yeah, like, you can do some, anything. You want to be a star, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, huh. this might be the first one that's under an hour. Holy cow. Good. Uh, unless we want to play... Nope. No. W- would, would you, you bang? Yes. I do like that. Wouldn't mind a couple of them. <laughs> let's we'll throw a little in here. Let, let, let's g- give the fans what they want. I like how we treat it as a game, even though it's just. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll People set, like to I'll play the game of the Would You Bang? Like it is a five game. names. No, no, no. no For, Forty-five names. <laughs> <laughs> no more. We'll go the rest of the night just naming people who are celebrities. All right, let's go from where we left off last time. Uh, Virginia Madsen gets first. Uh, choice here. Kelly's making hand gestures like he doesn't know who that is. Don't worry, I'll bring up the goddamn <laughs> picture. And yes, that is Michael Madsen's sister. Michael Madsen's mom. That's your sister, you fucking dick. Virginia Madsen. Let's, let's see what you look like. Right here. Old Jiny Madsen. She's a total babe in uh, Sideways. She's a babe in 2009, but then she was Oh, years her. Old. She's the blonde one that's not the not Asian Sandra one. Sandra Oh. Ooh, no. I'm a hard yes. A hard yes. I'm a hard yes. You know you're hard. Because she's uh, like a milfy cougary oh, type. Shit, which... She's married to Antonio Sabato Jr. Antonio Sabato Jr. Right. Was, not it, was or is? Not anymore. Not on the market? No, he's not on the market. He's married to some young... Uh, uh, titty chick? But there's titty no, chick, yes. <laughs> there's, there's no date besides partner. Is she just like a general partner? Like, on and off? Like, are they fuck buddies? What's what? going on? I, I, and the only reason I know that is because I watched uh, the episode of Wife Swap <laughs> with Nick Foley. <laughs> and what? Swap with Antonio <laughs> Sabato yeah. Jr. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. That <laughs> happened? Okay. Yes. She's listed as a partner with Antonio Sabato Jr. She's not listed as one of his spouses. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Why was Nick Foley on Wife Swap? Because he can be. For funsies. Yeah, for fun. Hey, now they Is he wearing his sweatpants? <laughs> Sabato's hot uh, Latino wife but, like actually cleaned him up and got him like a proper haircut and shave and oh, yeah, and taught him manners. Mick's wife probably wasn't happy about that. No, she was cool. Um, I'm a no for Madsen, by the way. No, no, no. No. Damn it, I'm the only one. The one holdout, Drew. Well, happens. if you've seen Sideways, she's fucking hot in Sideways. She's hotter than Sandra Oh, I'll give you that. Well, there's a reason she's eight. Does Giamatti hit that? In no. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Thomas, is it Thomas no, Thomas Church bangs Sandra Oh. Doesn't oh, Giamatti Sandman. just fuck a bottle of wine? How does that movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Giamatti's like, he's getting married, right? 
Uh, no, Thomas Hayden Church is getting married. And he cheats and on he his bride cheats to on be. His bride to be. Honestly, if you haven't seen that movie, it's pretty fucking good. Oh, it's good. It is very good. I've it's very funny. About it. I've, I've seen it. it. There, there are some great. I don't want to get off topic, but quickly, there are so, there is one great birthday today. Uh, I got to give a shout out. He's been on the podcast many times. Kevin James birthday forty eight today. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> I know he's listening. I know he's here. We did have a podcast largely devoted to one of his movies. Yes, so. we did. And then we all then we saw one in theaters. Yes, we did. Um, the same theaters. Anyways, here comes the boom. Oh, <laughs> hey! Why was it I? Boss Rudin was awesome in that movie because they literally. I think they were just like, "Boss, do some coke." They paid him. Pretend this is Pride. Go, <laughs> and he did. Um, next on the list, somebody who's dead, Brittany Murphy. Yes. Oh, she is dead. Luann. <laughs> Jeez. That's too bad. Uh, she was hot in uh, Sin City. She is hot in a lot of things. My favorite Brittany Murphy movie is definitely uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. Drop Dead Gorgeous, She yeah. is a fucking total babe in that movie because she's like 18, 19, somewhere in that region. Thumbs up from Drew. I'd even bang her dead corpse. <laughs> Fuck. God. Hmm. Although she has been dead for uh, quite a few years now, so yeah, it's, been a while. it's pretty decayed. She's probably a little crusty now. <laughs> I'll say yes. <sighs> when did she But I'm die? not... Like, 06, maybe? 07? 09, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, right. That's, anyways. Yeah, I'm a reluctant yes. <laughs> Don't forget, she was in Clueless. I know she was in Clueless. She wasn't very attractive in Clueless, No, she so. was young and... And yeah. imp- impression- no, was, young, was, young and impressionable. Was, was was <laughs> so, yeah. yes. I'm, I'm a yes. Clueless, Kelly's a yes. And she definitely has a... Heroin cheekiness to her. I'm just, I I have to remember to picture her as Brittany Murphy and not as Luann. Luann. Luann's not very hot. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, I give her a yeah. I'd say no. Because she's dead. No. Because you're racist. Yeah. Because you didn't like Little Black Book. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw it. I did somehow. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, sorry, anyways, uh... Yeah, what's next? Who's next? Well, this one, I can't think of anything she's done recently, but, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. Who's that? I can't think of a movie... Yeah, Yeah. I was gonna say, I can't think... Existence? I can't think of a movie she's done since, like, 07. She... Jennifer Jason Lee. You know her? Let's see. Yeah. Sorry. Um, she's in things. She's in. Uh, she's she? Mary Louise Parker's sister on Weeds. Yeah, she's in like uh, you wouldn't know Road to Perdition. I don't think. I think what she else was she on in? True Blood. Uh, let's see. It says that she was in. Doesn't say True Blood anywhere on here. You're a fucking liar, you piece of shit. I'm thinking something else. She's in The Machinist. Uh, and that she's she was in Greenberg. Greenberg. Weeds. Some some. <laughs> Some so movie called movie Revenge. Just then still like doing dumb or shit some, sorry. saying Greenberg. Some TV show called Revenge. I've never heard of it. Right. It's well, great. I don't need to. That's fine. I can just look at the picture. I, I can't remember what she looks like. I haven't seen her like now. I'll grow up. I'll grow up. Eh. I'll say no. Younger, yes. This, no. Don't I forget. Wasn't, it's, I wasn't it's, even that big of a fan of her at younger, so. Uh, no. That's a yes for me. Yes from Justin. No. Kelly's a no, and I am a no. What? Oh, I don't know. I'm just not not high on the. All she's right. Good, she's a good actress, though. Here's weird. one. Here's one that's questionable because she is older now, but at some point in her life she was younger. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair point. Uh, Susan Sarandon, and I'm gonna say this right off the top. She's got some big ass titties. <laughs> she does have big ass titties. And at some point in her life, she was a very attractive woman. Yes. Just not in the last, like, 20-ish years. Just not in our lifetimes. Yeah. I'm, I'm a yes. <laughs> I'm a yes. Absolutely. I'm a yes. Yeah, prime, yes. Yes, prime. Even in her prime, she didn't do much for me, so I'm going to say no. Uh, are you showing pictures from her prime? This is for her now. I would... Oops. Oh. I still would now. She's not bad now. I would gladly be the Brad Majors to her Janet Weiss. So <laughs> that's the uh, second Rocky Horror Picture Show reference I've made Jesus. tonight. It's been forever since I've seen her in her prime, so I, I I'll say no just for. She's also ca- she's she's pretty attractive in Bull Durham. She's okay. She's, she's alright in Bull Durham. So I I I'm a yes, Danzy yes. Scott was a yes yes Chewy. 
No, and Kelly, no. That's a, there's only a three. Uh, God, why is this one even on here? Monica Bellucci. Oh, yes? Oh, are you kidding? Sit on my face. <laughs> Sit on my face from Justin Chu. S-O-M-F. Does, does that count as two points for that? <laughs> It almost should. Oh, Bellucci. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She, she's the one that does all those European rape films. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Passion of the Christ. <laughs> she's got to be, like, pushing 50 uh, 1964. Yeah. 50. She's yeah, in The Matrix 40, Reloaded. Yeah, I remember her from that. I was yeah. going to say, and Ma Revolutions. Uh, I was thinking about that the other day. Oh, she's such a Can baby. you even remember anything from those two movies? Other than the, the albino twins. That's it. The that is the only twins. thing. Oh, and the... Fight scene where all the Agent Smiths right. are lining oh, the yeah. thing and they're funny. Oh, yeah, the dude's named Merovingian. Yeah. That's a lot. I don't number, remember anything else. Number about three movie. is a complete fucking mess I, of a movie. I legitimately slept through. I, oh, I had just one of the worst birthdays ever where all my friends insisted on watching the third one and I decided to sleep. On instead. your birthday? On my birthday. I slept on the floor. <laughs> were these two assholes there? No. No. No, these were other friends. Good, you guys are assholes. Oh, we are, but... Kelly I didn't know them at the time, but... Oh, okay. But, but you weren't good enough friends to invite them to your birthday? Uh, this was with other friends. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Drew is trying to cause a rift. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes? 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 No? I didn't... I oh, guess, yes? I like that you knew I was yes, even though I hadn't said it. <laughs> but because European rape films have come up, well, of course yes. Also, because I can see your boner from over here. Yes. Because you're thinking about the European rape films. I am. There is one with her and Vincent Cassell, which is pretty yes. terrible. This it, is pretty spicy. Uh, like, <laughs> he rapes her in a subway tunnel or something. Good start. And I know that one Lucas Funk is, like, super hard for that movie. It's called Irreversible. Hmm. Pretty pretty brutal, from what I understand. She's also in a movie called Brotherhood of the Wolf. Yep. Yes! Yes! Is she, oh, is she, not enough wolves. She, I think she's the fucking uh, she's gypsy the chick. Yeah, she's, she's, guy. yeah she's, she's hot in that. She's, she's so hot in that. She's in everything. She's so is that, so is that a... She's the wolf. She's a five. She's that a is big, a five yeses. Big yes. old European titties. They're great. Uh, oh, God. Now, to fill fill our uh, ethnicity category... Uh, Quotas. Lucy Liu. Anyone? Yeah. Anyone? No. Kelly, go yeah. fuck yourself. <laughs> even as an Asian girl. Kelly's a, uh, even as an Asian girl, no. So, no, no, yes. Yeah. I'm a no because she's not that attractive and she's Asian. <laughs> Mine was fart. <laughs> I'm a no. Oh, God, Kelly, you're the only one, buddy. He is terrible. Lucy. Uh, ladies you guys don't know what I know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So, uh, the only people in the world who like Lucy Liu are you and the guy who cast her as Watson. <laughs> oh yeah, she's in that show. Um, Evan Rachel Wood. Oh, yesums. That is a hundred percent for me. Yeah, yesums. See, some of these are really easy. <laughs> Diane Keaton. <laughs> oh, I like me a pant suit. I like me shoulder pads and a pant suit. <laughs> I might even know. Can you bring up a picture of her in Annie Hall? I was going to say, maybe. let's see what Annie Hall looks like. I feel like she could have been foxy in her younger days. I'm sure that some of these older actresses are foxy in their younger days, but you're thinking... She's attractive for a grandma. Show me a straight woman who dresses dykier than oh, Diane man. Keaton. You will not find such a person. No. Um... Think. Have you found such a picture? I found a picture like, of her wearing glasses. Like so you Ellen, can't Ellen see her. DeGeneres looks at Diane Keaton and goes like, oh, put on some lipstick or something. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Daniel. Enjoy your picture of her from Annie. <laughs> Dan, you even yeah, thing. even in her prime, she's like average. Yeah, she's just, yeah, know. she's kind of passable in her prime. So is everybody you know. Uh, yeah. Kelly, you're no, you know, you don't even care? No, I just know. How did Lisa Goodman go end up with these photos? I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm no. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, what the fuck? We're gonna finish off here on a double dose. Uh, both Rooney Mara and Kate Mara. Because they happen to be next on the lists. Rooney Mara, well, who's Kate Mara? Kate, uh, sister. I'd have to see. Yeah. Rooney for sure. She's on things, you'd recognize her. Rooney's a solid yes. Yeah, she's for sure. 
No. Nope. Kate is cute. Yeah, sure. She's in all of these movies. Boss what? What was that? Getting some fucking change is what that was. This left the fucking thing. I hope that's not wasn't anything major. It lifts out. We got left from that side of that. Oh, so. This is Kate Mara? Go yeah. Her. Go ham. She looks alright in that picture, but scroll down, not a okay. fan. Well, she's got a hair back. You can't judge her by hair back. I, I was gonna say, I just, I just saw a hair back picture. I'm like, I need more. I gotta... Did you get it? Yeah, Where's it going? Well, I hope it wasn't like a toonie That's or a loony. It probably was. Like Gold Kelly, how are you going to buy yourself double double tomorrow morning? <laughs> well, that's a good question, eh? You lost all your money? With that down the vent? Yeah. Where's Rooney? I, I've only seen... Uh, Yikes, I that is... Because I don't want the fluke man grabbing my hand and pulling me in there. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing the you social network. You need to stop network. watching season one of X-Files. She's a girlfriend in the first season? Season two. Two, sorry. Sure? I don't remember. What does Rooney Mara do in the social network? She, uh... Fucks. She fucks, fucks in every movie I've ever seen. She fucks those twins. Does she? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh. She, but she's the girl in the dragon. She's the girl with the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. And she's, uh... Right. She is babely in, uh, side effects. She is, yeah. Yeah, no. I, I like... I'm... I'll go with for Rooney. I'm not so uh, sold on Kate. I'm 100% for both. So. I'm both. I'll say yeah for both. I'm yeah for both. So Well, I'm the only holdout on one, so look at that. Well, you're, you're I don't want to pit these half two poor sisters against one another. Dan, how dare you have a different an opinion? to Mara sisters at uh, compuserve.net <laughs> and say, hey, nice acting sisters who are having a good time and not being bothered by anyone. Everyone here thinks you're beautiful. Except Dan thinks Kate sucks. Enjoy your relationship for the rest of your lives. Are you? You're, you don't want to pit Dan them against bad. each other because you don't want them fighting over each other for our wrinkly cocks. <laughs> 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 our cocks wrinkly. Maybe yours your, is. Yours isn't. No. So, I spent a lot of time in the tub. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's is wrinkly because something that big has to retreat inside a Kel- lot. Kelly's is, Kelly is a tub man. If there's one thing I know about Kelly. Tub, tub man? <laughs> the, the oh my god. god. It's the tub man. Is sequel it, to Tub Girl. Is it Kelly sh- shitting out under his own face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure it can be done. Kelly is so hard right now. <laughs> Just thinking about shitting on himself that later. That reminds me of a funny thing I gotta say, but I won't say nothing on it. Why not? Oh, you want a tease. Okay, so I was reading Savage Love today, and uh, there is a uh, uh, Dan Savage overheard a funny conversation because he's talking about uh, um, oh, there's a woman whose letter was uh, I met the guy and he's great, but his asshole's kind of hairy. Like, how do I give him the hint? Like, eh, maybe you should shave it. And uh, Dan Savage replies, Oh yeah, this reminds me of a funny conversation I heard at the gym between two gay guys. One of them said to the other one, Hey, you should grow a goatee. I bet it would feel really good when you rimmed me. And his reply was, I do have a goatee when I rim you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's got a sign. Oh, that's gross. That's funny. That's (laughs) disgusting. (laughs) Well, I guess we've come come to the end of the podcast. That felt nice and short. This felt reasonable. Probably one of the shortest ones we've done. Can we keep it this reasonable? We can more? try. We, we can, can absolutely try. We can certainly try. <laughs> like, if we kept it more reasonable, we could pump up more of these babies. Yeah. Shit, I think. <laughs> They're like pumping out babies. <laughs> Hundreds of Shit. babies. Right, right. Babies everywhere. Babies everywhere. Uh, it's yeah. YouTube brains. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anybody who, anybody who has a shithead can step up ahead and go first. I got one, but can I close? No, because you always close. I'm closing this time. Is it good? Yeah. All right, if you're happy with it, I'm fine. I'm very it. happy with it. All right. Don't challenge me, bro. I go to the gym. I can't even fit through doors. I'm so fucking big. Do you even lift? Do you even lift? Do you even yiff? I yiff all the time. I'll <laughs> yiff you later when these people leave. Off air? Off air. Wait, there's going to be some yiffing. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> A shithead, sorry. Whoa, we know you have an asshole. We Kelly, all have assholes. Kelly, I, I looked at it and it blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Excuses are like assholes. Everybody's got them, but nobody wants to admit that they do. Why not? <laughs> it's from, a, a, human it's from a movie. I don't remember what movie, but it's from a movie. Is it... Uh, <laughs> America? No, it's from a movie where Chris Klein is 
Dave. A guy who American Pie bangs a bunch of chicks, <laughs> and he plays oh, a guitar. Oh, Chris Just Friends. Friends. Yeah, yeah, Just hmm? Friends. Chris Klein. What about Chris Klein? That's weird. I thought. I thought it was a different Chris Klein. Is there two Chris Klein? Kevin Klein. I think Kevin, Kevin Klein. Klein. I'm yeah, thinking Kevin that. Klein. That's good, yeah. Kevin Klein, good actor. Roller Chris Klein, ball, right? not a good actor. Rollerball? Chris Klein was in He's Rollerball. Roller yeah, yeah, I thought you meant Kevin Klein. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Kevin Klein's in In and Out. Paul Heyman's also in Rollerball. Yes, yes he, he is. is. And Slipknot. And LL Cool J. And John Renault. And John Renault, yeah. Pretty sure. Rebecca Romain Stamos Khan is in Rollerball. A minus six for no. Rollerball. <laughs> 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 2002. <laughs> Maybe one. You want to watch it, Larry Scott? No. Do you have it? Yeah, of course. I'll watch, right. I'll watch the original. No, not the original. Mm. Polly Dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> and Slipknot! Your favorite band. I don't know about any of these things. We should probably end. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for somebody to say shit head, shitheads. Well, until next time, Helen Mirren's cunt is a shithead. <laughs> How dare you! Sorry. Uh, the dragons are shitheads. <laughs> yes. The, I got I got nothing. Not the mythological creatures. They're fine. Yes. The web mistress of the Mara Sisters fan page <laughs> is a shithead. <laughs> Justin is reneging his shithead, and the ending of the boy in the straight pajamas mm-hmm. is a shithead. Mm-hmm.